Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. In this installment of the Build the Willys MB Jeep by Exo Collections, you can only get this kit as a full kit from Exo Collections right now. So head over there and purchase this kit today. I put a direct link down below. So I'll be building stages 31 through 34. I'll be working on the front end, the front grill, radiator, hoses, and a lot of other components. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 31. This time I start working on the radiator. There's all the parts, all the steps. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 31 and you can find these parts in pack number four. Let's get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts and this time we received the radiator components and this is the radiator front made of plastic and the radiator back which is also made of plastic and the radiator top plastic also radiator cap CP and EP screws So the first thing we do is we uh, assemble the radiator and in this case uh, we want to make sure that the top of the radiator which is going to be this piece here on top and it's going to mount on the front of the radiator just like that. We have two alignment holes. And EP screws go into this. EP screw has a flange. Next we put the top of the radiator on and it looks just like that. Once again we have two alignment pins just like that and we put a CP screw in right there where the cap goes hold that all together and then our radiator cap goes on top of that and it is does have a tab on it you can just see that it's going to face the back and that's what that looks like there looks good now we're going to mount this to the frame bring over the front of the car And this is basically going to mount, this is the front and the back, and it's going to rest right on top of these two lugs here, just like that. So we need to turn the car over. I'm going to put it in a position where I can see it and CP screws are going to hold this down once again and you can 
kind of see where the screws go. And you can see where the screws go. We got one right there and one right there. And that's what your radiator looks like installed. That completes stage 31. Let's go to 32. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 32. This time I work on the gearbox cover, the radiator sleeves, battery terminals, and the grill mounts. There's a lot to do here. So just follow my video and you'll just be fine on where everything goes. Continuing here. And there you go. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's parts for stage 32, and you can find these in pack number four. Let's get a closer look. Welcome back. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 32. And if you haven't done so already, head over to eaglemoss.com and subscribe to this Jeep today. I'm having a blast building it, and it's a lot of fun. Let's look at the parts that are included with this stage. Looks like we have uh, battery cables and some of the hoses. But we got a lot to do here. We're going to install the battery cables here first. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and uh, start installing the engine. The engine goes in. There's three screws that hold it in place. And then we'll put the, the front gorilla on. And that's quite consuming there, too. And then we'll put the cover on to the gearbox on top there. We'll put the upper radiator hose. Here's the parts for pack 32. And this time we receive parts for the radiator itself, um, the hoses and such, and some parts for mounting the engine. So we got a lot to do with this. When we take these out, we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those parts. Everything here is made of plastic. We receive the upper and lower radiator hoses, the cover for the transmission, the mounts for the front grill, the battery terminals and wires, DM, CM, EM, and FM screws. So first thing we do is we mount our brackets that hold up the, the front grill, and these will insert just on the frame here, they just press fit. That's how that looks there. Kind of see it. Next we put the uh, terminals on the wires and they press fit also. Should just slide right on. And warmed it up in my mouth. A little saliva should help it slide on a little bit better. how that looks there and there they both are ready to go now this uh, shorter one is going to mount to the front of the battery bring that over and it's going to mount to the front of the battery it's also going to mount down here on the bottom of where the battery is Uh, it's going to be hard to get it in there. I think I'm going to take the radiator off to do that. So the battery terminal goes down on that. And then we plug the battery terminal into the front of the battery.
Mm, that looks good there. I'm going to go ahead and put the radiator back down. Next, put the battery terminal on the starter. And that looks good there. I put a little super glue on it to help hold it in place. Next, we're going to put the engine in and it's going to mount in three areas. Spot right there, right there, and then on the back here. Um, so obviously we want to put the make it so that the radiator, the fan goes into the radiator. Make sure that my battery terminal is out of the way, which it is. There we go. So we need to make sure that the Exhaust manifold goes on the other side of the steering mechanism. And looks like everything is lined up like it should be. Be putting the larger FM screws into this. Got one in. And the other side is in. Tighten up the other side. Looks good there. Put my cap back on the air cleaner. And for the back of the engine, we'll put a DM screw into that. The DM screw goes into the back here. And I did lubricate all the holes for the engine mounts, and that looks good. And lastly here for this engine mount itself is the battery terminal. And we want to put that down on the battery. Just like that. That looks great. Love it. Cover kind of has a longer side versus a shorter side. Two alignment pins. We put EM screws into that. One there. And one right there. That looks good. We turn this over, line up our exhaust. Kind of lines up, might have to super glue that in place. Here's our front grill. This is going to go down on those tabs that we installed on the chassis on the front and then we're going to put screws in on the side each side and then a screw on top. So I 
I'm just trying to get everything lined up here. There we go. Everything just kind of snaps in place there. Very tight squeeze. And CM screws go on top here. That looks good there. And on the sides, we put some screws in. Make sure everything's lined up. So with these uh, screws here, make sure you push in on the front to get them to line up better. And you can see it's going in. And the last TM screw here. And the last screw for the grill is this bottom one. That's a DM screw for that. So the DM screw stripped out on me. Uh, the thread stripped out on the metal part. So I ended up using a slightly larger screw, which is your BM screw and that seemed to work pretty good right there. And lastly we have to install the radiator hoses and the top one mounts up here on top of the head and there's three holes that it lines up to plus it inserts into the front of the radiator like so. Um, so the tricky part is to get it underneath these spark plug wires and line it up where the holes are. Three EM screws go into that. And the third one. Perfect. That's the top one it's in now. And do the bottom one next. Like that. Looks like it's in there. And radiator hoses are in. Just very hard to get in the tight places there, but that looks good. And that completes stage 32 for pack 9. We did a lot here. We installed uh, the front grill of the Jeep. Um, we installed the battery terminals. We installed the engine itself and the radiator hoses top and bottom. I mean, everything looks great there. Everything's lined up like it should be. Very pleased with this. So stay tuned for stage 33. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 33. I'll be assembling the left front wheel and tire. 
And if you follow my video, I make this look really easy. Let's look at the parts. Here's parts for stage 33, and you can find these in parts pack number 4. Let's get a closer look. And here's those parts. Once again, another very nice tire. Goodyear, six-ply tire. Very common to the Jeep. And two-piece rim. Made of metal. Very nice detail there with the valve stem and everything in there. Backside, same thing. Hubcap, made of plastic. And washer and the backing plate for the drum brake. BM, CM, and QM screws. And just as we did before, we uh, put our rim inside of our tire. Just like that. And then we have to line up our inner tire with those holes. And probably the best way to do that is we take our little file, red tail file here, and and should be a BM screw that goes into this, four of them. These are all tightening down very, very well. And there we go. Now we install our brake drum. Once again, lubricate the holes with my Vaseline. Just like that. CM screw goes into that. That's got there. This will go on the left front. Bring over the Jeep. Turn it on the side. I'm going to go ahead and lubricate the axle. And that's going to go right down on it. Put the washer in there. Secure that down with the QM screw. Until it still spins, it does. And we can put our cap on. And that's all we do for stage 33. Stay tuned for the final stage which is stage 34. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 34, which is the last stage for this video. We're going to be assembling the wheel and tire on the right side. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for 34. You can find these in pack number 5. Let's get a closer look. And here's a close-up of those parts. Here's our fourth tire for the Jeep itself. And just like before, great detail. Very nice rubbery tire. Uh, we get the, the wheels themselves made of metal. Two halves. The uh, drum backing plate. The washer. The hubcap made of plastic. The washer is also plastic. BM, CM, and QM screws. So just like 33, we'll put our rim into the tire, press that down all the way, 
take our file, put that through the hole there, line it up with our hole. BM screw goes into this. And there you go. Looks good there. Lubricate these holes for the brake backing plate. And we'll put that down. Two CM screws go into that. Tighten it down. Bring the Jeep over. Lubricate the axle like I did before. Put the wheel on it. Put the plastic washer in. QM screw goes into that. That's good. And hubcap. And that's all we do for stage 34. We assembled the right wheel and tire and installed it on the right axle area. I had a blast building this. The Jeep is really starting to look like a Jeep with all the parts we installed in this pack. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all video upload notifications. Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.